Welcome back to AlgoJS. Today's question is leak code 24, swap nodes in pairs. So given a linked list, swap every two adjacent nodes and return its head. You must solve the problem without modifying the values in the list nodes. Only the nodes themselves may be changed. So in example one, we have converted this linked list. So we have one, two, we've swapped those values, two to one, three to four has also been swapped to four to three, and then we need to return the head. So we need to return this value here. So the question itself is pretty intuitive as to what it's asking. The solution, however, is a bit more tricky. With most linked lists, if we're modifying in place, we're going to need some kind of dummy node, right? So we're gonna have a dummy, which we can just set as minus one. It doesn't really matter what value we set it as, but we need this value as a kind of reference to return dummy.next towards the end. So when we've completely modified this, we need to return dummy.next, which will be the head. We'll also initialize this as previous, and we're going to point this to our head. So this is head, this is head.next. So in order to reassign these and to flip the two values, one and two, we need to alter this arrow, this arrow, and this arrow right here, and then we'll move along to the next sequence of nodes to do the exact same thing. So how are we going to go about doing that? Well, as you can see in the answer, two is pointing to one. So firstly, we need to reassign our previous value to equal this value. This has now been removed, it's now been changed. Then we re need to reassign head.next to this value here. We've reassigned that value now, so we can remove this arrow. Now there's an issue here, we've reassigned head.next. This is no longer head.next. Okay, head.next is now here. So we've broken that, but we still need to change this arrow to go back to one. So rather than changing head.next to this next value, we need to create some references. So let's call this pointer one, and let's call this pointer two. So now pointer one.next goes to p2.next, and we still have head.next at this node. Now we can update head.next to equal head. So head.next points to head and we have removed this arrow right here. So that's the first step. We declare some values, so prev, dummy, head, p1, p2, head.next. We swap those values, so now we have point into four. So as you can see, we're getting closer to the solution, but now we need to reassign the values because at the moment, dummy is here, prev is still here, head.next and p2 are here, head and p1 are here. So this is the next step to reassign these values. Now the next part of this link this that we need to adapt is from here across. So the previous value here needs to be updated to this value here. So previous becomes P1. And we need to update the head to equal this value here. So head is going to be P1.next. Now we can remove these values and we can reassign them. So head.next is going to be here. P2 is going to be here, P1 is going to be here. And now we can repeat the process. So previous.next is reassigned to P2. So we've swapped that value, so we've removed this pointer. Four is pointing to null, so the end of the linked list. So now P1.next points to P2.next. So we can remove this. And then P2.next is going to point to P1 and we can remove this. And as you can see, all the linked list nodes are now pointing to a value, it's new value, so we can write these out. So now that we've swapped the values, we have this, we need to reassign these variables. So previous needs to be the previous value of the next sequence of nodes that we are going to swap. So previous becomes head, head then becomes p1.next, and then we can reassign head.next P1 and P2. And as you can see, head is at null. Head.next will be at null, so we can exit this loop. And then we need to return dummy.next because this is going to be the head of this linked list. So that's basic understanding of how we're going to go about solving this linked list. Time complexity for this one is going to be O of n, where n is the values of the nodes within the linked list, and space is going to be O of 1 because we are mutating the linked list itself. So let's start off by creating those variables. So dummy is going to be equal to new list node minus one. We're getting list node from up here and we're giving it a value of minus one. This is an arbitrary value. It could be 10, it could be 20, it doesn't really matter. 
then dummy.next needs to point to head and we need to set previous to equal dummy, right? So we're going to be updating previous here. We're going to leave dummy pointing to the head so that we can reference it at the end. So while head and head.next are available so they're not equal to null, we can carry out this loop. So we need to declare p1, which is going to be equal to head, p2, which is going to be equal to head.next. Then we need to swap these values. So prev.next is going to be equal to p2, p1.next is going to be p2.next, and p2.next is going to be equal to p1. Then we need to reassign previous and head. So previous is going to equal p1, and head is going to equal p1.next. And then what we need to return is dummy.next. So the node we created at the start, we need to return its next value. Let's give this a run. Submit it. And there you go.